Here's some backstory. Moses had killed an Egyptian for beating one of his Hebrew brethren. The word got out and reached the Pharaoh who wanted to kill him, so Moses fled and stayed in Midian. The priests there had seven daughters who were getting water for their father's flock, but shepherds showed up and drove them away. Moses helped the daughters get the water and because of this, their father gave Moses one of his daughters to marry. Meanwhile, the king of Egypt died and the children of Israel groaned and cried because of the bondage. God heard them and remembered his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now we're all caught up. Moses was taking care of his father-in-law's flock and led them to the mountain of God. The angel of the Lord appeared as a flame in a bush, and when Moses looked at it, he realized the bush was on fire but wasn't being consumed. When Moses went to examine this, God called out to him from the middle of the bush and told him not to come any closer and to take off his shoes because he's standing on holy ground. God then told Moses that he was the God of his father and their fathers. Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. God told him that he heard his people cry and he came down to deliver them out of the hands of the Egyptians into a good land that flows with milk and honey. God told Moses to come now and he would send him to Pharaoh to bring his people out of Egypt. Moses doubted himself and God told him that he would be with him. Moses then asked God what to tell the people when they asked the name of who sent him. God replied telling Moses to say, I am hath sent me unto you the Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, hath sent me unto you. God told Moses to go and gather the elders of Israel and tell them that the same God has appeared to me, saying, I have visited you, and I have seen what was done to you in Egypt. God told Moses to tell them that he will bring them out of the affliction into a land flowing in milk and honey. God told Moses to take the elders to the king of Egypt and tell him that the God of the Hebrews had met with them and to let them go three days into the wilderness so they can sacrifice to the Lord. God said that the king wasn't going to let them go, so he would stretch out his hand and smite Egypt, and after that the king would let them go. Thanks for watching, and God bless you.